Hey everybody, so here is the next video in the uh, EGG202 uh, video series. So this program, I'm going to uh, basically, again, read an inputs from a user using a text box. And for this one, we're going to use, um, whenever you update or modify what's in a text box, it will trigger an event to do some calculation. So this program will go ahead and create a few labels, a few text boxes, we'll read in, um, an amount of inches and convert it into centimeters, read an amount of pounds, convert it into uh, kilometer, uh, kilogram, sorry, and then we'll read in the amount of miles and convert that into kilometers. So a pretty simple program once again. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, label my form accordingly, just so it looks a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna go, so I'm in the form and I'm gonna go to the text, not to the name, because I guess it doesn't really matter what the name really is, but the uh, text, I guess it would look sort of nice if I had it look a little more appropriate. So I'll call this maybe uh, conversion is what I'll call it. So as you can see at the very top, we have conversion written there. So once again, we're gonna have to add a few objects to our form. So I'm going to first create our label. I'll put that there. And I'm going to, of course, just copy and paste this instead of keep on going back and forth into our toolbox. So to copy and paste, make sure we click on the object on the keyboard, control C will copy, and then control V will paste. So I'll control V once to paste one, then I'll paste it again. So we'll need three uh, labels here. So I'll just try to um, match them up decently at least. I think it looks about okay. So each one will be just some type of a prompt message. So I'm going to, for my text, just give it a text amount. So I'm gonna say um, enter um, inches and then this one I'll give it the, the text um, enter uh, pounds and then this one at the very bottom will be enter um, miles so we're going to simply read in these values and convert them into the equivalent metric units okay so of course we're going to have to use some uh, text boxes in order to make this work I'm gonna go to my toolbox once again and select um, text box. I click and drag that and try to match it up somewhat with this right there. So we have this text box created. And once again, we can just go ahead and copy this three times or copy and paste it twice. So I'm going to, of course, select the object, control C to copy, and then control V to paste. And I'll hit control V again to paste a second time. Then I'll go ahead and try to align these to the best of my ability. That looks pretty okay. Yeah, it looks about, maybe I can move this up a little bit. So, okay, I think that's better. Let's move it up like this. So it kind of aligns like that. So, I mean, it looks okay. I could actually click uh, control and click both of these and then select them both and move down a bit. So it looks a bit more, yeah, good enough. Okay, so we're going to read in some values from these um, text boxes. So I wanna give it a name so I know how to refer to it in my code when reading from these text boxes into my variables. So for the name, I'm gonna use txt, txt um, inches, and then I'm going to use, um, for this name, I'm gonna have txt um, lbs, which is short for pounds, I suppose. And then I'm going to have uh, for this name, txt, I guess I'll call it miles. So I give the name txt and then some names, so that way I know that this object is a text box. So it's just a convention I use. LBL is for label, txt is for text, BTN is for button, just to give it a, a sort of a, a good name so we can easily know what the object type is when we're using it in our code. So now we're going to have a few different sort of output uh, labels. So I'm going to actually uh, maybe put this to the side over here. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna create some labels. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and try to somewhat align this if I can. I'll put it here, I think I have to, okay, there, now I can align it nicely. All right. And once again, I'm going to just copy and paste it. I'm gonna copy this a couple of times. So I'll have to like keep going back to the uh, tool box. And I'm gonna go ahead and just give it, I'm saying not give it a name because I'm not gonna really use these in my code at all, but I wanna give it a valid uh, text. So I'm gonna go down here to the text field for that label. 
and then say um, centimeters. Did I spell that correctly? I think I did. And then for a label, for this one, the text label five, I'm gonna call this one maybe um, kilograms. And then for label six, I'm gonna give this one as um, kilometers or kilometers, like that. So I'm not gonna have a button that clicks that's going to trigger an event, but I'm gonna create maybe just one button, a quit button just, I guess, it's more of a, you know, why not? Let's just have this right there. So I'll make this very wide button, I guess. And I'll just sort of make it a little larger and put it up a little further up here. So it's kind of along with my other uh, components. And I'm gonna give it the text. I'll just have it say quit. And then the uh, name, once again, I'm gonna use this button in my code. So I guess why not give it a valid name? So btn um, quit. So again, let's go ahead and add the event for this. I'm gonna double click on this quit button and it's going to create this event uh, for this button. And remember this button will just be used to exit the program. So you wanna say this dot uh, close. That's the command that's going to kill the program. Okay. So now I wanna have some labels as output labels because I wanna be able to output the centimeter equivalent, the uh, kilogram equivalent and a kilometer equivalent for these values I entered right there. So I'm going to add some more labels. I guess three more labels should be enough. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and just sort of um, copy and paste it uh, twice. I'll have to keep on going to the toolbox. I'll try to align these nicely because it's always nice to make sure your program does look presentable. So this label is gonna be an output label. So I'm going to go ahead and give it an actual name because I'm going to refer to this label in my program. So I'm going to have LBL LBL and then CN, which represents the output for um, the centimeters. I'm gonna give this one also a name, which will be LBL KG. And this one's going to be LBL KM. I guess that's the, that's the correct uh, abbreviation for kilometers. So I could wipe these texts out to make them blank, but really it's not a very good idea because you want to always know uh, what that label is really, so we don't want the label to disappear from our form because you want to be able to potentially uh, select it if you ever want to modify it. So we don't want to really blank this out. So in the uh, one example from last week, I did that, but I'll make it a little wider so it looks all good. And I'm going to just maybe also update this a bit. Yeah, it looks, looks okay. So anyway, um, I'm gonna give it, give it a default text for right now, just so I know exactly what this label actually is. So for the text, it's going to be, I'm gonna just give it sort of um, CM output. So it's just going to tell me that, just when I'm doing this, um, working on this app, I wanna make sure I kinda of know what this label really is for. So I'm gonna say uh, KG um, output. So I kinda of know what this label was intended for when I'm looking at it right here am I in this, in this form, in this uh, design form. Then I'll have um, KM output like that. So when I run this program initially, we can see here that, well, is this going to display all of these? Which I don't want this to really be displayed here, but I don't want to wipe out these text fields in my code. So there's a way to actually handle this. I'm gonna go ahead and quit this right there. So. There's actually another function we can sort of uh, create. So if you look at the label, don't click on any sort of object, but click somewhere on the on the uh, somewhere on the form. So I'll click right there. So you see where it clicked on this form. If I double click on this, it creates this function form one load. So this function gets automatically triggered when the form is initially loaded. So it's similar to having a constructor. If you've taken CS202, it's like a constructor. It's that function that's called automatically when you create the object. Or in this case, when we create the form, we run the form, it's going to automatically call this function. So I can right here set those labels to be blank. So I'm going to say LBL um, CM dot text equals uh, empty string LBL um, kg dot text equals empty string and then LBL I guess kilometer 
text equals empty string. So I'm going to set these three labels to be blank when the program runs. This way, when a program runs initially, it's going to basically have nothing there, which I guess we can put anything you want, but I'll make it blank just because. So we have these texts over there just so we can easily can click on them. We can still modify them if you wanted to. If we make it blank, it becomes a little bit challenging to select this object. Now let's go ahead and run this start. We'll see here, and there we go. We don't have these um, outputs right there because, well, we had our form load function execute, and it runs right when we create the form. So it's actually a better way to clear this out. Instead of having it cleared out here on our design, it's better just to have that form load to um, clear this whole thing out. Okay, so now we are finally ready to sort of begin with this uh, program. So I'm going to go back to my code. So I'm going to right click uh, view. So right click on the form somewhere, view code. I go back to our code view. And I want to create some constants. So because we're going to be doing some conversions. So any constant will put it above everything. This is sort of equivalent to having um, our global sort of scope, I suppose, if you want to call it that. So I'm going to do a couple of conversions. So I'm going to have the following. So const double, and I guess, um, inches to centimeters equals 2.54. So, I mean, of course we can hard code these, but having a constant though is a better idea as always and using literals. And then of course you wanna go from kilogram to pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the following conversion factor. So const double, and I believe it's going to be um, kg two pounds will be 2.204. So we're going to we'll possibly multiply or divide these values, but we'll just have these constants set up. And then of course, um, our last one, oops, um, const double, let's see what was the, um, so mile, miles to kilometers is 1.609. So basically, um, it's really maybe misleading sort of terms right there, but really this is actually one mile equals this many kilometers, or one um, kilogram equals this many pounds. So it's kind of really all over the place, but just kind of bear with me on that. We just have these constants we're going to use in our calculations. So instead of now having um, a button to actually uh, do all this, I'm going to now have it where if I modify something here, just automatically run this event. So I'm going to go to this text box and double click on this for the, um, this is for the inches one. So double click on it. And we see here, we have this function that's created. This is going to automatically trigger every time we modify this uh, TXT uh, inches um, text box. So right now I'm going to, of course, have a variable. I'm gonna create a variable um, double, um, sort of, I'm calling this inches, I guess inches equals txt inches dot text. And I'm going to convert this into a double. So I'm going to say um, convert dot to double like that. So we simply just get the uh, this txt to inches dot text. We'll retrieve a string that's, that's typed into that text box and we convert it into this inches variable. Awesome. So now you want to go ahead and compute the uh, centimeter amounts. So I'll do this kind of step by step. So I'm going to say double CM equals, let me go back to um, my notes here. So one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and take my inches amount, oops, inches amount, and multiply it by um, this constant here, inches to centimeters, like that. A simple conversion. And I want to write this to the labels. So LBL and CM dot text equals um, CM dot to string. So whenever we update this, um, update this, how shall we say, um, text box, it's going to automatically call this function and it's going to run this code. We're just simply going to read that 
um, data from the uh, text box inches text box sorted into a variable and simply use that with that constant we declared to convert into valid to the equivalent centimeters amount then we're going to output that to that label at the very end let's see how this goes so I'll go ahead and I'll type in two and we have some update and type in one and we can see every time we update, we type something. Now if I type a decimal, it can't do anything there. I type six, four. So we can see here, as we, every time we modify this, it's going to every time run that function. If I go ahead and erase something, it also runs that function. So we can see here, every time we update this field or this text box, it's going to basically just trigger that event, which will go ahead and sort of compute um, the centimeters amount and I'll put that there. So now we can go ahead and add the other two um, events. So what if we update this uh, box? Well, I can double click on this and it creates that event for me. And I'll go back to my, to my design, double click on this. And then now we have these uh, events set up. And I'll go ahead and I'll sort of quickly do these. I don't wanna spend too much more time um, here, so this is going to be the pounds amount. So let's go ahead and do the following. So I'm just going to have uh, double uh, pounds equals txt um, pounds dot text. It will convert that to an to a double type. So convert. I'll put space here. Convert dot uh, to double. Like that, same idea. And then um, we have this conversion factor. So we have our pounds amount. Oops, I think I, okay, I spelled it correctly. So you have our pounds, and we have to um, um, sort of divide that by this conversion factor because that's going to be divided by this conversion factor from kg to pounds, like that. So we'll say uh, double uh, kg equals pounds divided by that constant um, kg to pounds. And it will output to this to the label. So LBL um, kg dot text. We're going to assign it to be the result kg dot uh, to string because you want we have to we have to assign a string to the text field, and this dot to string function will convert that uh, decimal to a string. Now we'll do the same thing. We'll do this all in one sort of shot here. So let's go over uh, miles to uh, kilometers. So once again. I'm gonna create a variable here called double uh, miles equals um, txt miles dot text convert dot to double like that same idea. Then I create a variable double um, kilometers. So we have our miles amount. So we have uh, miles and we're going to um, divide that. Actually, no, we're going to multiply this by um, this amount, which will be miles to kilometers. Because if we have, so it's one miles, 1 1.6 um, kilometers. So actually, I think that's correct. So I think that is right. So we're going to basically take our miles amount and um, I believe it's a division operation. I think I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll run this first and we'll see what it gets me. I'm really weird at having, I'm really have a hard time with, with visualizing uh, these conversions. But anyway, let's go ahead and just see what it does. So uh, I'll be able to kilometers dot text equals km dot two string, the same idea. All right, so um, anyway, let's go ahead and run this. As I type in my amount of inches, we see it update accordingly. I hit tab, go to the pounds amount. So 200 pounds, how many kilometer, kilogram, sorry. So we, as we update this, and then for miles, let me see. So two miles, I think that's correct because one mile is sort of 1.6 kilometers. So I think that is correct. So we have to 
we're gonna have more kilometers i'm guessing i'm trying to like visualize this right now i'm just let me just double check my work here yeah so that means if you have one mile you have this oops ah, darn okay let me stop this i think i made a mistake with that but i have one mile you have 1.6 kilometers okay so looks like this all works so whenever you update any of these it keeps on triggering another event. So every time I type something else, it triggers every single time. If I delete, it also triggers an event. So whenever I type some number or delete something, any kind of a change I make to the text box, it's going to automatically trigger that event, which is going to trigger either this event, this or this, and it's going to do some calculations. I'll put them to our text, uh, to our labels, I'm sorry. So that's basically um, a quick sort of, um, example on how to um, have a uh, text sort of um, event. So that's it for right now. So I guess take care you guys. Thanks for watching and till next time.